up for anything, and what is it this morning? BT back to school, you know, and Jody, I don't know if you're the same, but I know a lot of people out there. My dad taught me how to change a tire, change the oil, because thinking that every every person should know how to do that. This is taking things, Tony, to a whole other level. We're working with heavy mechanics, right? Yes. So here at BCIT, where um, what are the students actually working on here? Uh, today, these guys are taking the uh, undercarriage off this uh, big dozer. Uh, we got the tracks off. We're going to pull the undercarriage off. And, huh. and the tracks, so the track is literally that right that there. That is the track, so it's yes. So the, it's the tire version version of what would be a, on a car, right? For sure. And how um, much time does it take to change a track like that? Uh, if you were uh, in the field, if you were out in the mud or in a uh, extreme uh, condition, it would probably take you uh, maybe four hours full track off. So with respect to this kind of program, and I mean trades in general, there is a real need for Huge people demand. in the trades. Yes, absolutely. So people that graduate from this program, what kinds of things are they doing besides, of course, changing a track? Uh, they are, uh, part of this program is also commercial transport, uh, trucks that roll down the highway, as well as heavy equipment. So all the trucks that are out on the road, they all need to be fixed. And we, I mean, we happen to have, I think, all guys here, but this, I mean, women in trades is another big one, right? Absolutely, yes. Uh, many uh, females in, the, in this program, uh, there's none at this point in time, yeah, but uh, for sure they come through all the time. That's definitely possible. So, I mean, you know, my, my basic skills of changing a tire are probably not going to help me much here, but is there something that I can try? I mean, everyone's looking busy and I feel like my hands are a bit idle here. Uh, I think we're uh, just about ready to pull this undercarriage. I don't know where really? my I guys went. I, well, Let's, uh, I can help this for sure. Yeah, yeah. if you want to lift the crane up. <laughs> okay, watch this, guys. Uh, this button this right one there will start Look to lift that. it up. You want to maybe just... Uh, just like this? Just let's guide it as uh, she comes up. It's all right. We'll take the weight off it and then pull the pin out. This is all they trust yep. me to do, Russ, is to press the button here. That's <laughs> How's that looking? Pretty good? That's looking pretty good. Not Keep on too going. Bad. Keep going. We're going uh, to take more details slack out of on there. BCIT and the programs that they offer, Russ, people can check out their website. But uh, I'm thinking I could, if this TV thing doesn't work out, For heavy sure. mechanics, right? Sure. Yeah, you're a natural. <laughs> okay, nice and easy now. Just slow her up a little bit. Gonna start to tighten up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Dawn doesn't need to find out what Dawn's doing in her life. Of course. And I'm thinking my hands aren't dirty enough, guys. I remember my dad as a mechanic would come home, always had the oil on his hands, and always, I loved the smell of grease. I gotta say, I grew up, and so this is like bringing me back to my youth. Hardeep, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic, we're here at BCIT. BT is back at school, and um, what, do, you're an apprentice. Yes. What level are you in your program? Uh, level one. Level one, okay, so um, we're specifically doing what here right now? Basically, we're getting removal, removal of in, uh, injectors okay. right now. Basically, we're just taking it off the fuel pump. So this is an engine yes. that would go in the truck sort of what, like that over there? No, highway truck. A highway truck. Okay, good to know. See, we got all this big machinery. I'm not quite sure. So um, what is the reason that we need to remove the injector? Yeah. Basically, so we can transfer, uh, transfer. so we know that all the fuel that's coming out of the fuel pump are, is going smoothly into the injectors okay. in order to start up the engine. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got obviously um, some work being done on right now. What is happening right here? Uh, they're removing the hoses for the air to air. All right. Yeah. So any air that come, comes out of the engine goes through. Okay. So helps them cool down the engine. And I need to help. So I've got my, this is what, a wrench? Yes. Okay, good. I've got one right. Perfect. <laughs> and I'm going to work on this. This is a nut? Yes. Bolt? Okay. <laughs> and is, is it still lefty, loosey, righty, tighty? Yes, it is. Okay, so best way to get in, what, like this or here? The uh, best way to get in is like this. Okay. And spin it to the spin right. it this way. We're going to get Richard over here right away. Here is one of obviously um, the instructors here at BCIT because if someone is looking for a job in the trades, I think you're going to need a bit more qualification than I have, Richard. Richard, come and check this out. How am I doing here? You're doing just fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Let me. I better let Hardeep do it because he's really good at this. Um, <laughs> obviously, um, there's a lot of need for trades right now, isn't there? Very much so. Uh, in the industry, heavy equipment industry, the trucking industry, the oil and gas industry, everybody's looking for guys to, to do this type of work. Not everybody can, so. And so how long is the program? The program that these guys are involved with will be four years. Okay. So it starts off with their basic, uh, basic tooling, this type of stuff, and then they move progressively into the heavy equipment. So someone gets their um, certificate or diploma, what kind of job, I mean obviously we, it's mechanics, but what kind of work specifically could someone be doing? Um, more often than not, it's just going to be general maintenance, but a lot of these guys can specialize in engine repair, uh, transmission repair, fuel system repair, 
off-road equipment repair. Uh, they can move into machining, welding. Uh, pretty much the door is open when, when they're talking about different types of uh, parts of the industry. And, and what's interesting is as much as technology, Jody and Riaz, as much as our world has become more technical, we always need the trades. That is something that will never change. For more details on the programs here at BCIT, check out their website. But uh, what an education. I think coming up in the next segment, I'm going to be, what, conducting? Uh, railway conductor, can you imagine? <laughs> I bet she can do it. She's the jack of all trades, don't you, babe? Totally. And BCIT is celebrating 50 years. Woohoo! Always wanted to do that, right? Yeah, I'm here. I gotta go get my script here. <laughs> and heavy mechanics where I'm not quite sure what I was doing there, maybe changing the oil. I don't know, I have no idea. But the point is, if you want to learn, you come to BCIT. Once again, Jody and Riaz, it's definitely a bit of back to school here for BT. We're here at BCIT coming up just before 9 o'clock. I'm going to learn, yes, you can actually take a take schooling on how to become a train conductor. So it's been a busy morning, and again, I'm sort of thinking, what, what could my next career be? Maybe I'll change the oil on a what, bulldozer? I, maybe I could do that. I don't know. Bye. Bye. I bet, I bet you can. Well, now this is exciting. BT is back to school. We're here at BCIT where, um, Monica, we should point out we are on train tracks, but we are very safe where we are, right? Absolutely. This is a controlled uh, lab environment. Fantastic. So this course is what, Luke? Because you're actually taking it. Uh, it's a railroad conducting course at BCIT. Uh, it's this uh, controlled environment that we uh, learn how to... Uh, learn all the rules of, and regulation of the uh, railroad conducting and uh, what to do and what not to do. Okay, so I got to ask, you know, like, because a lot of kids, they kind of grow up going, okay, this is what I want to be, this is what I'm be. At what point did you go, I want to be a, a, a railway conductor? Uh, my sister thought it was a good idea for me to do this because uh, I've been playing with uh, train simulator on computer. I've been playing with Lego trains as, as a young kid, so I thought it's a good lifestyle to continue that legacy for me. And Monica, um, is there a real need for um, this in the trades? Absolutely. There are uh, over uh, 700 conductors to be employed every year by both CN and CP and also a lot of the short lines. So um, this is definitely the trade to be in if you like trains and dangerous work. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how long is the program? The program is 17 weeks, uh, that's four months, uh, no apprenticeship, so once you're in this program you come out at the end of it by being a conductor and you, about 80 to 90 percent of our students receive employment. Okay, so you know, I could maybe, this could be my next career perhaps, right? Okay, so I'm going to make my way up here to Ryan. Ryan, I'm going to hand this to you here. Uh, this is a handbrake. Okay. Yeah, so this we got on every single locomotive and every single car. It's just to make sure nothing moves when the locomotive and the whole train is stationary. Okay, can we try it here? Let's yep. do it. Yep. And then I think we're going to drive off here. By the way, for more details on BCIT and the wonderful programs that they have here, check out their website. Definitely been an education. Let's get going. Let's go. Absolutely. Do I go all aboard? Is that what I could say? All 